The German Touch, part three, consolidating individual skills in ball control. Wouldn't you like to be able to dribble so elegantly and successfully? This 12-year-old has practiced hard until he can control the ball and his opponent. Here he demonstrates all his skills in a game. But before you can control the ball like this, you will have to learn how to make numerous changes of direction and turns with the ball. You should practice dribbling techniques and tricks as soon as possible and repeatedly try them out at home, in training, and in games so that you too can become a wizard of the dribble. This video shows a large number of exercises that you can practice on your own. For some of the exercises, it is better if you practice with a partner, but in any case, you need a ball and a number of markers, for example, empty yogurt cartons or any other suitable household object. The foot and leg movements needed for successful dribbling are demonstrated in slow motion. Look at these sequences as often as you can and practice the basic movements in the yard or some other suitable place. You do need a lot of space. Dribbling in a limited space requires excellent ball control and control of your own movements. Peter Schreiner has developed a number of exercises for his club, which will help you become an excellent dribbler who can deceive his opponent at will. Many players have already learned these basic skills in his dribbling school. When you have acquired a good ball sense, you can also learn spectacular techniques and tricks, such as the one that Patrick uses successfully against three opponents. Look closely at it again. You will be able to do this if you practice diligently. Especially difficult tricks have to be practiced first in training and at home so that they can be used successfully in a proper game. But only when you can use the techniques you have learned in tight situations can you regard yourself as a successful dribbler. You can only achieve this by constant repetition of the basic movements until they become almost automatic. This video also demonstrates exercises that will help you to outwit an opponent who is positioned behind you. Experience shows that these are difficult situations, so you should concentrate hard on the basic movements shown in tape two of this series, playing with an opponent at your back. You can best carry out these exercises with two friends, but you should practice making feints on your own beforehand. 